In the U.S., Occupy protesters have descended on a quiet California Redwood retreat, where some of the world's elite gather every year. Demonstrators say the two weeks, officially portrayed as a time of rest and relaxation, is really a chance to discuss plans for the world's future. So naturally, RT had to send Abby Martin to Bohemian Grove to see what it is that triggers those rumors and growing protests. There's millionaires, billionaires, the people that control the world, control the central banks, that build nuclear weapons. I mean, this is their summer playground. Straight from the San Francisco airport, I headed to Monte Rio, a city with beautiful redwoods and picturesque coastlines. The perfect getaway for the world's rich and powerful. And in fact, every year, CEOs, media moguls, and high-level politicians flock here to the Bohemian Grove's secluded campout. They're making business deals there. They're, they're talking policy. Um, so there are a lot of conversations. A claim which members deny. Their motto here is that weaving spiders come not here, which they claim means there's no business discussions. It's just a vacation for the wealthy men. Author and activist Mark Dice has a rare Grove yearbook issued every decade, showing everything from men in drag to high-profile politicians giving speeches. The book shows George W. Bush and his father giving lakeside talks, along with Presidents Jimmy Carter and Richard Nixon. Others who have attended are David Brooks of the New York Times, along with CEOs from CNN and Fox, Jimmy Buffett, David Rockefeller, and Henry Kissinger. Mark also has an official 2005 membership list of Grove attendees. Your typical warmongers, George Bush Sr., Colin Powell, Richard Pearl, and your, your typical Republican establishment insiders. Hundreds heeded the call to protest. The people in the Grove are about to be conquered. Activist Felipe Messina worries about dangerous policies that are drafted from within the Redwoods. The nuclear uh, program was discussed here and then developed later. The fact that Reagan was here uh, in 80 and then afterwards um, we had the Reagan revolution. We know what you're doing. We know what goes on in here. An event with so little transparency has bred theories, some of them pretty wild, about what goes on on the inside especially at the cremation of care ritual, where Grove members burn a coffin effigy to a 40-foot owl. Peace and justice activist Cindy Sheehan speculates on the lack of media coverage. Because they're part of it. You know, they're, they're the propaganda arm for the 1%. The corporate media is the 1%. I mean, if you look at it that way, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, they are the corporate 1%. They're not going to do negative stories about themselves, about capitalism, about global empire and war. How can someone own a 2,000-year-old redwood grove? Well, that's the question that the occupiers are asking about the Bohemian Grove, which they say belongs to everyone and not just the 1%. What's going on up there? At the gates of the Bohemian Grove, a line of riot police made sure that everyone didn't gain access to the lair of the 1%. Abby Martin, RT, Monterio, California.